What's up guys, welcome to Revline89. So today we are going to be uncovering the Mustang, um, connecting the battery and jumping it, pulling it out of the garage, letting it idle for a while. Um, we spray painted the headers and well, we want to burn up any excess paint that can burn up if it can burn up you know the paint's supposed to be rated up to 2000 degrees um paint we bought before that was supposed to be rated burned up so um they claim it must have been old paint so now we got new paint from the company so we're going to back that out uh then i'm going to be working on the ford explorer spraying some rust areas um undercoating it and so forth and we're going to check underneath the car in here and We'll see what else we come up with. So stay tuned guys, let's get this thing started. So to be honest with you guys, I don't, I'm really not expecting it to start. Um, um, without hooking up the battery pack that we have, but we'll see. So what we just did was simply reconnected the battery. And again, I don't know if uh, it's gonna fire right up or not. Probably not, but we'll see. We got lights, so it's got some power. exhaust fumes there. Man, this thing sounds like it was ready to be started. Like I said, uh, we just sprayed brand new spray paint, so yep, there's gonna be some some paint burning on that. I wanted to do it before we take it into the garage. All right, here we go, turn it off. We don't need to waste our battery. I can't believe it fired right up. I'm pretty impressed with that. Well, I'm really impressed with that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Like I said, we're gonna let it idle for a while. And uh, yeah, man, she is so filthy. All right, guys. Well, I think we're gonna go on to the Explorer. Keep an eye on it. it looks like a lot of the smokes going away still got some smoke so we need to repaint some of this um, a better a higher gloss where we overspray because it was hard to paint these headers all right so um, decide to let the Explorer go until closer to inspection no point in doing stuff now uh, for the Mustang it's pretty much burned all the paint for now uh, we'll close the hood so that he can build up uh, right now, we're just letting it idle, get the alternator to boost that battery back up. Um, you guys might be wondering, where's the grill? If you haven't seen a past video. So, I'm doing a custom grill setup. Completely customizing the grill. And uh, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to hide two smoked 
fog lights, they're halos, just like my headlights. I'm gonna hide one right in here and one right in here. It's gonna be behind my uh, grill. So I have the same grill as right here. It's a metal mesh grill with a, it was a chrome body, just an outline body. I sprayed that black because I wanted it to blend better than the chrome. Um, I wanna do this Mustang a little better. I wanna get this all gold since my theme is black and gold. Um, if it turned out bad, you know, if the gold doesn't match, then I can simply just cut these zip ties and take it off. But yeah, I wanna have two smoke fog lights. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, then they're gonna be behind the grill. So most fog lights on all the Mustangs you guys see, it's a grill cut out for them so you see them. But I want mine to be hidden. Um, and then, you know, I have them there for just extra show. Uh, let's see. On top of that, that I'm going to do after I take it to the garage. Um, here's the shell. I s sanded and painted. Um, yes, yeah, so. Yeah, with that being said, uh, yeah, I want to show you the fog lights, fog lights. So here they are. I'm going to uh, wire them up to another switch so i'm going to customize the switch in the cab and i have the switch somewhere 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 i really need to clean this you know what? i think i'm going to clean this garage out anyway i have a switch that i'm going to hook up uh, both of the fog lights so the fog lights i'm only hooking up the halo ring the fog lights come with uh, you know a center light but i'm not hooking that up i'm just gonna hook up the halo rings because that's all i want um so yeah this will be taken into the garage getting some stuff done some cool stuff you guys will see in the future uh, it looks like it's coming out here so yeah we got a bunch of things we want to do um Cars sounding good, running good. We just, no point in giving it a bath or anything. I'll probably take it down the road quick um, just because to get the moisture out of the exhaust because it's, you know, it's still cold out. We actually are having a heat flash. It's supposed to be 55 degrees today. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm excited. Oh, looks like something's hitting our hood so that comes down somewhere maybe the cap and of course we have our custom idea that we want to do with uh with um our shaker system the shaker system is going to be setting over top here i don't know how that's going to work out but and with our hood you know i don't i, I just don't know how it's going to work out be cool if it works out good but if not hey this is what it is all right i'm gonna clean this garage get all my parts set up um so thank you guys for watching this video um uh, yeah we just basically started the car got it warmed up got the paint burning up i'm now gonna spray some areas high gloss black uh we need to cover it up that's basically just about it and take it for a run so thank you guys See holy you guys cow guys so boy was i a little nervous apparently when i was undercoating my car underneath the car um, because my grill was open paint overlapped and came up all over here um now i undercoated this probably a month or two ago i never noticed it because the car's so dirty i started cleaning it wow uh, all i can say is if you guys ever get over paint overspray on your vehicle wow this stuff is amazing i'll have a link in my video description uh and i'm no this is not sponsored by them or anything holy cow so you get this kit you get the clay bar the same one and holy cow it took away the overspray completely wow i'm I'm a little flabbergasted to be honest with you guys. I was uh, really, uh, I was thinking, oh man, great. I'm gonna have to get it professionally detailed. Hopefully they can 
get it out and I got it out really nice and I just basically spent the last 10 minutes doing the front bumper um, yeah I this is the first time I've ever used a clay bar everyone always has raved reviews on them and I uh, it's the first time for any vehicle I've ever used that I used a clay bar and I only had this clay bar I bought it a while ago because it was on sale and never used it until now and holy cow I uh, yeah I'm uh, I'm very happy so check out the link in video description guys if you're interested um, again it's not sponsored by them or anything I just I just can't believe how well it works Wow looks like we got another accident Ford pickup Whew, that must have been a bad one we got a I think a Jeep down in holy moly uh that uh they've